This day marks the International Day of Women and Girls in Science. I'm delighted to record this message on the very special day to talk about my experiences and express my gratitude to all female mentors and colleagues. My journey in research started when I was a very young undergraduate at Miranda House in Delhi. And during my second year, our principal, Dr. Pratyo Jolly, introduced me to Professor Shobhana Narsimhan from GNC for my very first summer internship. And since then, I've been very fortunate enough to find female mentors at every big step of my life to render support and encouragement. And this gave paths to my PhD from University of Montpellier, followed by my postdoc at Northwestern University in US. I'm very delighted to all my uh, female mentors for establishing the idea and confidence to pursue science at higher education level and instilling the very thought that this field is open for anyone who is passionately committed or simply wants to explore the STEM fields for, of their choice and interest. Surprisingly, a recent survey found that 90% of women, and I repeat, 90% of women feel gender discrimination remains a major roadblock in their career growth. And shockingly, all of them felt self-doubt and lack of self-confidence as a hindrance in their professional growth, to which I feel lack of representation of women in STEM is one of the major concerns that should be addressed to bring about gender equality, which is not a, only a fundamental human right, but also but also essential element to build peaceful societies and achieve sustainable development. We require more women voices to talk about their accomplishments, experience, and their journey in the field to encourage young minds. I think visible representation of female accomplishment can foster the growth mindset of young girls. I would like to share my small experience as a mentor uh, to young girls. Last year, my friend, or I can say my sister in science, Dr. Darshana Joshi asked me to participate as a mentor in the inaugural program, Kalpana Reimagining STEM. Led by Dr. Pati Singhal, this is one of the flagship initiative of Vikyan Shala, an NGO based in India. I mentored 10 STEM undergraduate girls who participated in the workshop with full enthusiasm and curiosity. The role was to equip them with self-development tools and nurture their scientific temperament. This program positively impacted lives of 60 girls from 16 cities across India. So a very dedicated structure program based on mentoring. With the fellow mentors from across the world, together we created an active learning environment focused on inculcating the interpersonal skills and scientific inquiry. I believe providing women or girls with active mentorship an effective learning environment in STEM nurtures their intellectual and social wellness. This program facilitated in paving the path to opportunities and resources that either girls have not had to access or have never heard before. This mentoring program not only helped undergraduate girls, but also helped me in realizing how much I enjoy interacting and motivating girls to pursue their dreams in STEM related fields. I felt there is a need of quality educational content alongside with mentoring that should be easily accessible to wider section of women. Currently, I'm devoting my time and efforts towards content development and program building for Vigyan Shala to scale Kalpana program 100 times over the next three years with the prime motive to bridge the gap of gender inequality and bring diversity and inclusivity. I see Kalpana Network as a strong peer network and definitely it will become even more stronger and close-knit with time. This message is just a small step towards promoting more women and girls in STEM. Together we can create a better future for young girls and women in STEM through mentoring and easy accessibility of educational content. And with this, I would like to thank you all for listening this message and I'll sign off now. Bye-bye.